Ladies and gentlemen, the great electrifier. In calculating the amount of a natural resource, whether the resource is aluminum, zinc, lead, crude oil, bauxite, bitumen, gold, fossil fuel, or anything else, there's a vital principle at work that I'd very much like for you to understand. It's a principle that doomsayers of all persuasions have failed to discover and no longer, I believe, have the capacity to grasp. That principle is this. No matter how carefully it's scrutinized and no matter how scrupulously it's defined, the actual quantity of a resource in the earth is never fully or even approximately known at any time. Why? Because resources are sought and found only as they are needed. And even if the quantities of a particular resource were exactly known, these measurements wouldn't in any true sense of the word be meaningful, since humans have a limitless capacity for developing new methods to meet our needs. Developing fiber optics is one such example in place of copper wire. Now please listen closely to what I'm about to say. It's a crux, and it is a fact. There exists no technology that can survey and measure the total quantity of, for example, oil and potential oil beneath all the land and sea, including tar sand and shale oil, and the conversion of coal to oil. That one fact alone should tell you everything you need to know about the totally spurious claims and the dishonest motives of all the end-of-the-world peak oil predictions and the peddlers of this preposterous scam. I still hear-